Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, let me show you how to set up auto reply on Apple Mail. Now at the moment, I have two accounts right here. So I have a Google account and I also have an iCloud account. Now for us to be able to do an auto reply, so say for example, when we have a vacation or some sort, we're actually not going to be using the Apple Mail app itself, but instead we're going to be accessing the settings in either iCloud or Gmail. To do that, we need to go ahead and open up a browser. So this can be any browser that you want. I'm just going to be opening up Safari right here. And say, for example, let's go ahead and go for the iCloud first. So if you have a at iCloud.com email, then we're going to be accessing the auto reply in iCloud.com. So just go ahead and go into that. Now we're going to need to go ahead and sign in. So just go ahead and sign in. And once that you are signed in, just scroll all the way down until we can go ahead and see this mail app right here. So just go ahead and click on this. Now we're going to be just go ahead and take this off. So we're going to be clicking OK. And we should be able to see something like this. What we need to do is to go ahead and access this settings right here. So go ahead and click on it. And then we're going to be clicking on settings. Now on one of the options right here is actually auto reply. So this would mean that we can go ahead and automatically reply to messages when we have received it on a certain time. So say for example, I'm going to turn this on and say that our holiday will start today and then it will end at next week. So just go ahead and add in a reply. So say for example that I am away for a holiday. I will be in touch and after a week's time on the 15th of March, something like this. And then you don't actually have to save anything. This will go ahead and automatically save this so that whenever someone would go ahead and send an email to you, this would be the automatic reply that they will receive. And of course, once that it ends, this will just automatically turn off like that. And there you are. So that's how you would do it in terms of your iCloud mail. Now for us to go ahead and do that in terms of our Gmail, then again, it will be the same thing. All we need to do is to access our Gmail account on our browser. So that will be on mail.google.com. Go right on ahead and log in. And then we're going to be accessing the settings once again. So this will be this gear icon right here on the top right. Go ahead and click on this. And then we should be able to see, see all settings. So just go ahead and click on this. And then the auto reply feature is actually this thing called the vacation responder. All we need to do is in the general settings, scroll all the way down until we can go ahead and see vacation responder as an option. So what we're going to be doing is to go ahead and turn it on and then go ahead and select the start of your vacation. So that will be, say, for example, today. And you have the option as well to go ahead and add a last day. So go ahead and tick this. And then as you can see, you know, it'll be on the 15th subject. It can be on anything uh, on vacation. And again, it will be the same. You know, message can be anything that you want. I am away for a week, something like that. You also have this option to go ahead and only send a response to people in your contacts so that it is specifically for those people who is currently in your contacts if you want this to be just for them. And make sure to go ahead and save changes as well. If you have not taken this option, so say for example, you've just selected as to when, then this will just go ahead and keep responding or keep sending out auto replying all of this until you just go ahead and turn it off like that. And there you are. Don't forget to go ahead and save your changes and this will be your auto reply all set up. Well, I hope that you have found this tutorial useful. See you guys next time.